I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that's that ice falling out of the trees. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> oh boy, that don't feel good. <laughs> oh man. We usually don't get ice like that. That's, that's kind of something new for me. Seeing it falling out and hearing it and things. Pretty wild. <laughs> yeah.
I don't know how well y'all can see, but I'm taking my starter off. I've got my wires unhooked the battery first. I got my electrical unhooked from it. I took the top bolt out first. What you can do, it's a little bit, you would think would be hard to get to. It's actually not. I just took a long uh, extension and a socket, and that's a half inch 12 point socket. It's what you gotta have. Uh, stuck that long extension back in there, went right on it, and used my battery impact, took it off. Used the battery impact on this one. Got it out. This one, the socket wouldn't line up on real good, but I did get it on there enough to, uh, to get the bolt broke loose, because it was real tight. And then I'll finish taking it out with the wrench here, and, uh, Hopefully I've got the right starter ordered for it. It's not here yet. I just wanted to go ahead and get this off. And that way I'd be ready to put it on when it comes in. And this joker. Oh, it's not white by any means. Oh. Got my hand in a bad spot. Whew. Gosh, that is heavy. Whoo, that was fun. Right there is your ground wire, and then all these, that one, and that one, all those go back on your uh, positive. And then it's got a spacer plate right there. I'm just going to leave that spacer plate on there. Our old big thing is, that joker is heavy. But it's got to where it's growling and grunt, grunting and making a racket uh, engaging, so I decided to get a new one. And I did get a new one, it's not a rebuilt one or nothing. Bearings are bad at the end of this shaft right here. You can tell some slop in it. Right in here. And stuff. But, uh, the model number, it's a Delco Remy, R-E-M-Y. The model number is 1990312. Uh, it's a 32M starter, type 300. And uh, the one I found for it is, it was $188, it's a brand new one. Uh, I could have got a rebuilt one for what? $159. Uh, I checked it like Advanced Auto Parts. I gave them the number. They could get one, but it was going to be $336 or $7. So I went ahead and went with the one for $188 uh, with the new starter, no core charge or nothing. Um, so I'll keep this and uh, might get it rebuilt sometime down the road, take it and get it rebuilt. But uh, yeah, that bearing is definitely shot in the end of it. Let me show you. Look, you can see the, you can see right there how that bearing or bushing, whatever's in there, is bad, and that's letting that thing jump around and stuff. Uh, not good for them. All right, we're gonna try to pull the oil cooler off this thing. I've already got the oil filter out of the way. There'll probably be some coolant come out. I drained my coolant. Uh, 
that there'll probably still be some run out. I might have to get somewhere different. Get positioned different somehow. Stabilize my socket. Should be one more there somewhere. Big long one goes on top. And back there is the other one. It might be difficult to get. Oh yeah. The exhaust is in the way. To get to that one good, I might, if I had an extension, I might possibly could get on there. Might. It should be a lot easier to try and get this wrench in there. Now I'll roll back up here to the front and jerk that one loose. I might move my camera out when I go to take it down so I don't make a mess on it. I could have took that block drain out back there, I guess, but I, I didn't. I believe my head gaskets are leaking a little bit. That's not a good sign. I hope I can get through this year with it. As long as it don't start putting oil in the water or water in the oil, I should be okay. God, I'm gonna get some of this stuff out of here before I take that thing down so I don't mess nothing up. All right, we got this old oil cooler out of my truck. I'm gonna soak her down with some of this uh, super clean. I'll get me a wire brush, brush it a little, and then rinse it off.
Oh, spoiled and stuff was caked on our good. And looking better. Ain't got it all, but it's a getting it. All right, I'm gonna lay it over here, spray it again, and rinse it, and it should be good. Okay, I'm going to get a measurement so I can get the compression back right uh, when I put it back together. Nine and three quarters. Okay. This might get wiped off. But I'm gonna put it on there anyways, and label the back arrow pointing that way to the back, which is your oil filter end. They say these things are pretty difficult to get apart. I may end up having to go uh, get me a pry bar out of the truck, a small one out of the blue truck. Mm. That one started. Bent the little ear a little. But it started. I have to get my a wham bammer to get that down in there. Mm, now that one might not go as easy. And that's cast aluminum too. So you don't want to break nothing. I believe that's starting to move now. Right here is why you want to take these things apart and reseal them and clean them good because look there how these ports for the coolants stopped up on this end. I have to get all that cleaned out. I'll probably take some uh, something and get all of it loosened up, a little pick or something, get it out. And if I can find me a wire or something to run down through there, I will. And then take brake cleaner and spray through it. And I'm going to spray brake cleaner back in this... Uh, um oil as well are in that port for the oil um and flush it out with brake cleaner that way if i got any water in there from that degreaser it won't make a mess it'll it'll clean it out and flush it out good but i end up just taking the hammer and lightly pecking around them lips you gotta be careful not to break it 
cast aluminum, but just picked or helped that thing up and picked around it and it dropped down off onto the table. But I'll get both these pieces cleaned up good, get all the gasket material off of them, clean that out, and everything. Um, and then the seals should be here in a few days. I want to go ahead and have it ready to put back together. So uh, we'll get to cleaning on it. Okay, we got her all cleaned up. Waiting on our gaskets to get here. Got all that, them ports cleaned out. Should be good shape. Also cleaned under the truck um, where the mating surface is under there for it. And uh, so the gaskets and the starter both supposed to be here around Thursday or Friday maybe. So hopefully I'll get it all put back together by the weekend. And uh, She'll be done with it for a while, and I think I've said that once before. Uh, put a new alternator on it as well. And the ground strap on the other side was getting bad, but not totally. So I added one on this side uh, just as a extra to ground from the frame to the cab. But the only thing I'm worried about is the head gaskets. I think they're leaking slightly. They're not mixing any oil and, and uh, antifreeze yet. Um, kind of coming to the outside, but it's nothing major, barely even noticeable. It's been, I think it's been doing that for a while. Uh, so I'm going to keep running it before I tear into it to do that big of a job. But I might start into it next winter. We'll see. But anyways, we'll catch back with you once we get our parts.